All right, let's do some more examples. Just some multiplication, and then we'll get into some division again, which isn't tricky. It's just multiplying by the reciprocal. So rule of the day again is factor, factor, factor. What multiplies to negative 6 and adds to a negative 5? Well, we've got 2 and 3. We've got 6 and 1. So 2 and 3, one's got to be positive, one's got to be negative, so that's out of the running. We need a negative 6 and a positive 1. x minus 6, x plus 1. The bottom is already multiplied. We've got x plus 2 on top over here. I'm going to stick this in parentheses because it's being multiplied by that. And so it's already by itself. And then what multiplies to 2 and adds to 3? 2 and 1. So x plus 2, x plus 1. And so this x plus 1 divided by the x plus 1 crossed out. x plus 2, these are on the same fraction, and sometimes people ask, can we do that? Yeah, it's no problem at all. The first fraction just wasn't fully simplified. So you cross out the x plus 2s, and so we're left with just this out front. x minus 6. You don't need the parentheses anymore because it's not multiplied by anything else. And 4x to the fifth. All right. So next one, our first division problem. So what I do is I factor because the rule of the day is factoring. And while I'm factoring, I flip our fraction over. And so what multiplies to negative 20 and adds to negative 8? So we've got 4 and 5 multiply to 20, 10 and 2 multiply to 20. But because 1 has to be positive and 1 negative, we need our negative 8 here. So I'm going to use negative 10, positive 2, x minus 10, x plus 2. On the bottom, looks really tricky, but there's two terms. So we're not looking for anything that multiplies and adds, but they have stuff in common. They have a 15 in common, because 15 goes into 150. There's just that extra 0 on the end, leave a 10, and we've got an x cubed. And so the 15 came out. 15 divided by 15 is 1. x to the 4th divided by leaves 1x left over. 150 divided by 15 leaves a negative 10. Now we're flipping and multiplying. And so this minus 18 minus 7, we get 9 and 2. 6 and 3 work as well, but we want it to multiply to a negative 7. So I'm going to use the negative 9, x minus 9, x plus 2. Now that's not what x squared minus 9 x factored to. It's what the bottom factored to, because notice flip and multiply. So x squared minus 9x, another binomial that has an x in common. And so we can pull out the x, and that leaves an x minus 9. So what's left over? Well, x minus 10s cross out, x minus 9s cross out. Now, sometimes we get all really excited, x plus 2s match up, but they're not top and bottom. These cross out because something divided by itself is 1. x plus 2s don't cross out. So we get x plus 2. You can write x plus 2, x plus 2, or I'm going to write x plus 2 squared to save some time because there's two of them. We get 15x, and then don't forget about this x over here. x to the third and another x make x to the fourth. All right. Factor, factor, factor. Flip and multiply when you're dividing. So sometimes what trips us up is if we don't have a full fraction. And really it's as easy as just stick a 1 under there so that you can see what matches up with what. Because this x plus 1 is really on the top in terms of where it goes. So x plus 1. I'm going to do the same thing again where I flip this. What multiplies to 12 and adds to 13? 6 and 2. 
3 and 4, 12 and 1. x plus 12, x plus 1. And then on the bottom, our x squared plus 2x plus 1 now comes to the bottom. What multiplies to 1 and adds to 2? Well, nothing much. It's pretty simple. 1 and 1, x plus 1 x plus 1. And so what cancels out? We've got x plus 1 over x plus 1. We've got x plus 1 divided by x plus 1. And so x plus 12 is left all on its own. Sorry, we don't need parentheses there. So x plus 12. All right, on to the last example. This looks really, really complicated, but if you take it one step at a time and change everything to multiplication and factor as you go, it's really not all that tricky. Same concept, though. So I'm going to put this over 1 just like we did. I'm going to factor that. It's got an x in both parts, and so we get an x times x plus 15. If you want to keep that 1 under there. Now, this is going to change into multiplication. We're dividing by this whole thing. And so this whole thing, there's multiple ways you can do it. You can simplify the inside and then flip it. Or I like to flip it as we're doing it. So I'm going to keep this here. It doesn't matter all that much because it's going to be multiplication. But so this x minus 2 is now on top. And now what multiplies to negative 8? And adds to positive 2. We've got 4 and 2, we need it to be a positive 2, so 4 minus 2. x plus 4, x minus 2. And this x plus 4 also flipped, because we're dividing. And then we've got another x squared plus 15x, and so that's actually going to cross out with that whole other one. But they both have an x in them, x plus 15. All right. So these brackets just mean usually that we multiply this all together first and then multiply by this one. But because order doesn't matter in multiplication, order of operations doesn't apply anymore um, because it's all multiplication. We have changed everything here. So our x plus 4s cross out. Our x minus 2s cross out. Our x plus 15, top and bottom, x plus 15, x divided by x is 1. Everything crossed out. Anything on top was matched with everything on the bottom, and so anything divided by itself is 1. So I would say that's simplified fully. All right, so that's multiplying and dividing rational expressions. Biggest deal? Factor, 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 factor. Can't say it enough. Don't cross out anything until you have it all factored. And then when you divide, flip over your fraction and treat it just like the multiplication. And then start cross-canceling after you factored. That's the fun part.